Today we're going to fit these struts to the boot of this Peugeot 206 CC. The issue we get is the boot is ridiculously heavy. And if you're looking here, it's these pistons here, they fail and they, they don't help the boot up. First of all, we're going to have to take off the convertible roof. <laughs> Just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a neat little roof on this car. That's done. Unfortunately, to get to those struts, what we're going to have to do is take most of this stuff out from the back here and the back seats to actually get to where we need to be. We can move these forward. And all this is going to have to come out this bit round here, probably, possibly some of this. We'll have a look, we'll start with the seats. Now I'm going to loosen the 10 mil bolt. There's only one of them to hold the seat on. Are you getting it? Yeah, it's getting it. I'll just show you on the other side where that bolt is. It's pretty easy to see. Right down here. And there it is. A little 10 mil there. You can get it to focus. You get the idea. It shouldn't be much before you can get it fingers and just take it off with your hand. One side, same on the other. Put your bolt somewhere safe, like on the floor. <laughs> we are fighting against time a little bit here because we think it's going to start raining. The problem with this is the roof's got to be down. Bit of spitting's alright, but torrential rain, not good, especially when it's not our car. See the cat enjoying what sun we've got in the background? The other cat sniffing the car, like you do. The back seats come out like this. First we pop this bit up, should just be on a little hook that comes off. On both sides. Same again, sometimes they're easier than others. On a hook. Yeah, you might need to do the bottom bit first. Tilt the bottom. That's it, so that's bottom bit. And that, that's sometimes held in by the bottom bit, it just depends what's been done on your car. That's fine. Is it hooked? Yeah. It's fine. I don't think we need that bit out anyway. Okay. Not yet. Alright, oh, actually that one's got a bolt on it. Yeah. Just down there, it's another little 10 mil bolt. Might be able to just finger tight that. Let's have a look. Sometimes when you're doing jobs like this, you find little bits of treasure. Yeah, it's finger tight. I'll just do that. The other side doesn't appear to have one for some reason. Do you want to just take that one out? There we go. These side cards are going to have to come off, so first this bit can pop off. It does just pop off, I believe. Be careful with it. But yeah, there we go. That's one. Just pop 
bolt off there. That's held in by these little bits that usually you need to get a screwdriver under just to pop. And that, same down here. One of these little popper things, sometimes you can just get them out just like that. Oh, there we go. Got half of it out. Keep them safe somewhere. Right, a couple more clips around here. Down the back. Just to pop off. There we go, it's the side panel off. As we thought, the, the piston is behind the rear seatbelt mechanism. Let's go and have a look. You can see there. Um, quite difficult to, there it is. That's a bit we're going to have to pop off. It's a 16 socket to remove the seatbelt mechanism. I expect it'll be pretty tight on. Oh, there you go. Got it. What a beast. <laughs> right, finger tight now. Say that will just lift up and lift out. Just make sure I don't lose that washer off it. Yeah. Let's see if that just lifts. That's it. Got a few bits connecting in on it. And then just put it to one side, I reckon. So make sure we're not putting it onto paint. Stick it down there or something. Oh, is it zoomed up? If it's zoomed up, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Right, so it's, it's given itself its own seatbelt lock, which has actually removed it out of our way, which is great. Okay, you can see it's got a little metal band around it. I think that's like a circlip. I'm going to try prising that off first, and I think it'll let go easier. So I'm not bothered if I break this piston, because already broke so that's like looks to be like a circlip oh there we go yeah. <laughs> straight off no problem now we're going to make sure we do both sides at the same time so the pistons are equal now we're going to pop this again now it's important to be confident when you pop it but make sure you're supporting the plastic so you don't break anything that's it Go. This that fine little break. Yeah. Mm. That's it. Gotta be confident with it. Looks like you got one left. Let's pull. There we go. So on these bits, you pop the middle out first, and then it will allow you to pop the outsides out. Like that, there we go. It's come out very easy. There's another one just down there, down near the seat belt. Got it? Okay. And again, you just pull it out with the tabs. Seat belt will get in the way a bit, but. Nice. Now we're going to do the same on this side, just undo this bolt to release the mechanism. That one was easy. Wiggle it out, put it back up to the top, it's nicely out of the way. Alright, time to remove the piston again. Removing that circlip again, just a little screwdriver in it. 
I'm not too bothered if I damage it. Cause it's already broke. This one. Oh, just removed the whole thing with the screwdriver. Result. Testing off this side. Same, we've got a circle clip at the top. Just pop that circle clip off. Makes it a little bit easier. Oh, there we go, straight off that one. See the other side. Make sure you don't shut the boot while that's down there. And straight off. That's the ideal way. Take it back out. Get that one. Where's that gone? Don't shut the boot on my hand because that'll. That'll be painful. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now I've got the new piston. I'm just going to stick this one in. Hopefully it just pops on. I'll do this bit first. Oh, there we go. Easy. Right. Let's get the other side. If you can just pass me that piston because I'm holding this up at the same time. You got it for a second? Yeah, I've got it. You've got it for while I do it? Yeah. So these are dead easy. They just, just guide them down to where they want to go. Just... Oh. Trent said they're dead easy. There we go, that one's popped on. You got it for a second? Yeah. Right, you just hold that boot up. I'll take you around here. Let's just see if this will just pop on on this side as well. And you need to lower it out. Um, I'll tell you where you need to be. Yeah, lower it a little tiny bit. Okay, a bit further, that's it. Hold it there. Up a tiny bit. There we go, and that one's on. Keep it there. So, I have someone holding the boot right up a little bit. Actually, I'll tell you what, this one's screwed out a little bit. Let's screw that back in. Tap up a bit. That's it. Go digging for money in these cars. You never know what you're going to find. Be a millionaire by the end of this. Yeah. We'll just check it, make sure the pistons are alright. Go down slow at first just to make sure the pistons aren't going to pop off. And then you're alright. And up it goes. Fix. Now I need to put it back together. Come up to a bit of a problem when you're trying to get the seat belt back in, but the seat belt won't actually release. Now if you look there, you can see that's got a thicker side. I have to pop this plastic casing off. You've got a little pin there. If you push that little pin in, it'll pop out the other side. Try not to lose it. There we go. Just put it in there for now. And that'll pop off that side. These bits, you just leave her up like that. There we go. Then you can see this little ball bearing bit here. See this little bit here, that stops it. But if you pop that there, hang on. this one doesn't appear to be. There we go. And it allows us to go again so we get it back in the right place. So what we need to do is get it long enough so we've got plenty to play with to put it back into place. Let's just do it out like that. There we go. Alright. And put it back together. Doing a lot of sniffing, mate. Yeah. And push the pin back in. Fiddly. Fiddly milk, fiddly face. <laughs> and it goes like that. Right, now what we need to do is while we hold this seatbelt, get it back into place. And I'll, and I'll let go of this. I need to make sure we're not twisting it. It's going on the right way. Yeah, that's fine. Put that back in there. Do you want to come round? Okay. So that little bit just 
rests on there, that little bit rests on there, and we need the bolt. Got the bolt from that one. No, that's not the right one. That's cool. <laughs> You want these to be tight. <sighs> Let go of that seatbelt. Oh, I've got a twist. Oh god. It's not We'll fun. take the twist out on this side. It's come across a bit. Uh, should be able to take it out here. Yeah, that feels like it's in, doesn't it? That's in, that's in. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how it sits. Okay, right. Cool. Now, we need to put those little weird plastic bits in. Little weird plastic bits? You know, the bits where you pull the middle out first. Them oh. over there. There should be two on each door. Yeah. Right, there's one right down here. Down near the seatbelt. Can you see the hole? It's easier to put in if you take the middle bit out first. So you take the middle bit all the way out, or as far out as it'll go, some, some of them yeah. stay attached. Then push it in, and then push the middle bit in. There we yeah, go. and then there's another one somewhere. I can't really think where, actually, to be honest. Where, where did we take the one off from? Was it underneath this? Hang on. I think it is. I think it's underneath that. It's there, that one. Yeah. So yeah, don't forget to put that one in first before you put the top bit in. <laughs> and definitely don't drop it into the mechanism. That'll be a nightmare. In? Lovely. Right, stick that back on. <laughs> Extra practice. Lovely, that sound felt sound like it was on. I think that's pretty much how it sits. Yeah. Yeah, right. Other side door card then. Right. Be able to line it up a bit better now you've lined that other one up. Get that bit past the belt. Yeah. Bit at the bottom. Bit at the bottom? Yeah, that bit there. Yeah. Come, come a bit further across. Lift, lift them across. Okay. That's it. That is it. Is that in place? Not Get fine. it onto that screw. That little bit down there. Somehow. Onto that screw. Just move it along until it gets to it. Hang on, let me come around the other side. Will it help if I pull the seat belt up a bit? Yeah. Right, there you go. That's it. That didn't really sit in properly until we got it all latched in. Right, okay. so you've got these two here. Hang on, I'm trying to just show them two there. The yellow one and the black one. Gotta get a seatbelt out of Line them two up. <coughs> yeah, you still, that's it. Look at that lined up there. There we go. That's pulled in there. Nice. That's popped in there. I right, know you need your little push up things. There. <clears throat> Get one in there. One down there. As I said before, I think down there there should probably be a knot on that, but there isn't, so. To be honest, if it was our car, we'd probably add one, but it ain't. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah? yeah. Cool. That'll right, be top part, piece. That'll be part of five on some premium. <laughs> Just make sure you're not going over that window. Yeah. mechanisms on these cars are they're really good to be honest I think they're quite technical but if they go wrong they cost an absolute fortune 
a nightmare to put right. So we really don't want anything going wrong. Uh, this this one always kind of feels like it's half on, I think. Yeah. But I think pretty sure that is on. I don't know. Hang on. Ah, that's why. What? One of the the bits that clips in is actually snapped off. But we don't have anything to put it on with, so. makes us look like bad Yeah, we should probably <laughs> probably need a new clip on that one, to be fair. But we haven't got any at the moment and we need to get this roof back up before it rains. Yeah. Right, let's go on to the seats. Let's have a look what we've got to contest with with the seats. Okay. Tricky. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> no hissing, nothing. Nice one. Feral cat sometimes can be a little bit feisty. <laughs> yeah. Right, hang on. Are we uh, going the right way first here? If we put the back one on first, I think. Because the back one. And just put it in place so we can have a look. Yeah, because the back one, not. The back one needs to screw into that one. I know I've got one on that side, but on that side it has. It should have one on that side, but it hasn't. So let's just pop this back out and put that back bit on first and tighten that on. Yeah, we'll use these um, interestingly weird, yeah, weirdly shaped, shaped clips. Enough said about that. Yep. Right, let's just get you a bolt for it. And not even. Here you go. We've got that onto it and then just finger tight that on and I'll get you a 10 mil. So he's put on with a 10 mil. 10, 10, 10. There we go. Wait, is what? Yeah, is it, it kind of hooks into these little hooks first and then it screws on. Wrong way round, wrong way round. That's it, yeah. Okay. Here you go. Do it with that. Okay. Move on. Get rid of some of this leaves. Yeah. Uh, how leaves of ow. Like Got in there. Right, I'm holding the seat back. You just tighten that on. We'll just get it finger tight first on both sides, and then we'll tighten it up. Yeah, finger tight. Get the other side. Is the other side on? Yeah. Yeah. About 10 mil. Look at this, filming and tightening at the same time. Is there anywhere where these skills stop? Mm -hmm. Left handed as well. Mm -hmm. That's that side. Here you go. Thank you for watching Fathering So Not Professional. Hope you found this really helpful. And now let's put this roof and we'll be finished. No grinding, no braking, that's always a good sign. See you on the next one.